was just supplanting. What is up, I'm Alex? It's me, I'm a Jane when I'm a Jane TV, and we are here to do April. Yes, April's back, and April is back with a song called Now or Never. So, okay, all I know there's a beach, it looks beautiful. Maybe it's somewhere in Korea because obviously the pandemic, they can't travel some elsewhere. Uh, I want them to be somewhere in Korea to film it. So, we are going to do uh, Now or Never by April in 3, 2, 1, go, go. That beach is looks beautiful. Yeah. And it could be, it could be, oh, that looks so pretty. Another summer song, cutesy wootsy one. Do they dig their phones? They buried their phones inside the sand. Are they actually meant to be like swimming costumes? I think they're meant to be representing like swim costumes. Oh yeah, this is definitely in Korea because again, pandemic, they can't travel other countries. <gasps> Her blue hair looks so pretty! Oh my goodness! Do you know, do you know what it reminds me of the song? It reminds me of a... a Red flavor by um by red velvet. Low key does actually. Oh, they look. Oh, they're in a jeep. Is this a jeep? It's a jeep, right? I don't think it's a jeep. Oh, I love the outfit. They look so pretty. <laughs> I want all of it. Costume is just cute. Oh, that's that ice cream. I will literally just snatch all of that. Well, they're not ice creams, it's, it's ice lollies, which we call it in England. It's, it looks like a lolly, let's let's say a lollipop. That's why it's called <laughs> ice lollies because. It has a shape. If you look at the the, the popsicle, which they they're called in in America, it does for us. It looks like a lollipop, so that's why it's called. That's why we call it ice lollies instead of popsicle, because it doesn't pop. It's it's made out of ice, just sweet. It's so cute. I love it. It is not again. I like their cuteness because it's 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 less obnoxious and it's less boring. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't know who's who, by the way. They're very pretty. I love the thing is I love their outfits. It's cute summer vibe. Again. I would say it this would be the perfect song to escape while doing around on the during the pandemic because it we we could not go out. Let's be honest, we could not go to the beach, we could not go to um swimming pool because they were closed and it was so and I was dying to go to a swimming pool near me. There's actually a swimming pool near my house in the it's actually in the park called Hampstead Heath. Um and the, the swimming pool, I think most of you Londoners know what I'm talking about. There's one swimming pool called Lido. It's like a swimming pool that doesn't have a roof. And it's super cool and it's just perfect for summertime. And it looks like, oh my god, yes! That beach looks so beautiful. I feel like swimming. <laughs> Keep swimming, man. Oh, so the song was called Now or Never. They just... That was fun. You can tell they enjoyed it. It's fun. I give this a nine out of ten. Again, I'm not into cutesy wootsy, but this is what. Again, it was. It's cute, but it wasn't at the same time because it's summer. This is a perfect summer song. I wonder what they said. Okay. 
Okay. So, this one says, understand this group. Wow, as a blink once a rebel love, we, my standard is high when it comes to K-pop, but this group really amazed me. It really is. I mean, April's been out. April's been in K-pop for a long time. As I know, I wasn't, I'm not a, of course I'm not a huge April stan, but, well, I wouldn't say stan fan, but, yeah, each, what I do know, I think this is the group, I don't know, I'm, I get confused with April and, what's, and A-Pink, I get them both mixed up, because I know those two groups are in the same label, and I know, I think it's April, it's between April and A Pink that one of the members was, took part of, for a program called We Got Married. That is a huge program in Korea. I don't know if it still exists in Korea. If it does, and that's kind of sad, is they took, they take like two different, um, opposite genders, um, from a different groups and different labels and they come together and they had to like live together as married couple like pretend married couple and they will they will um experience what it's like to be married and there was and there was another segment spin-off uh, program that was huge in korea as well it's called hello baby if you don't fam OG K-pop fan, okay? OG K-pop fan. And a lot of K-pop fans these days were still waiting if they're ever going to return that program because that was huge. So that program also, just like we got married, Hello Babies, basically they pick a group, any group, could be a boy group or a girl group. So what they do with these groups, just like for example, they pick um, the whole entire group of BTS and they have to look after babies, toddlers. Like babies, like one year olds and newborns. And I think the program is revolved how they would raise a child if they were a parent. So they have to more low key raise a kid. <laughs> and these kids right now, if you see the, the kids that were that actually got famous for this program, they are one of the most beautiful kids that you see on Instagram right now some of these kids are models some of these little kids are models and I know these kids because obviously I do follow some of the kids that were on hello baby they have grown so quickly you're like but you're this little toddler that little cute little muffin on this program and now you, you see them you're like they're teenagers now like time flies time flies okay so wow so, so yeah, those are the two programmers that were huge in Korea. I don't know about if We Got Married still exists, but I know that Hello Baby no longer airs anymore, which it saddens me because that's such a, such a great program because it teaches K-pop idols on how to raise a kid if they become a parent at some point in the future, if they ever get married. <laughs> You know, I know Girls' Generation did it, Shiny did it, but M Black did it, I think. Who else did it? Oh, there was a group called Boyfriend, they did it as well. And I think Boyfriend was the last group. And I wanted to see Vix raise a kid because you know Leo loves kids. And I wanted to see BTS raise a kid. You know, your boy, you know my boy, my boy V. Tay Tay, he loves kids. And if it's not just Tay Tay, there's Jimmy in there. I think all the boys love kids. I would love to see them just experience the whole entire series, the whole entire like season of BTS. Cause I think per season, it was like different groups. So season one was Girls with Girls Generation. Season two was Shiny. I think season three was, I believe it was, um, M Black and then M Black it was boyfriend and I wanted to see more. I wanted to see more. So <laughs> So yeah, those programs were bangers. So if you're all if you're OG K-pop fan, if you're OG like me, you are seeing these programs. You decide to binge watch all of them. Anyways, so yeah.
And I believe uh, one of the girls in this group, I, I think it's April that was in We Got Married, and she had to be married to none other than Taemin. <laughs> she, she, her pretend husband was Shiny Taemin. Taemin from Shiny. So I don't, don't I barely, barely remember a lot of it, but it was. And I see that those two together is so cute. They're so cute. It's like ah, I know, I know. Um, Key did it as well, but it's like more the international one. He got married to a pretend. His pretend wife was a Japanese girl that looks like Hiana. She actually does. It's ridiculous. I'm like Doosh! twin. Oh, okay. So <laughs> back to the song again. It's a, a fun music video. Summer vibes. If I would I download this song? Yes, I would because mainly because when I feel we need a summer vibe, fun music video, some fun song to listen to, this is the song. And the other one I listen to, Dum Dee Dum Dee. Those are the songs that are summer vibes, feel good songs. You like yeah, party in my room, feel good. Just grab ice cubes and just munch it. You know. Whatever you, however you like it, you might put it in your cup and you have it in, in a, you know, in a drink or in a wine. I don't know. However you like it. So I give it a ten out of ten for that. Actually, did I say nine out of ten? Nine out of ten. It's just great. It was great. So with that being said, I love you all. And you and everyone and Sarangheo.